Hey, it's three in the morning as I write this, and today's fan art was created by Delta Fire and features a severely messed up Neo A cross with the rake. Be sure to check her links in the below, and if you have any art, don't forget to send it to me. Hey there, Kid Naomi, it's been a while. Sorry I went MIA for two months without much for any explanation. I'm still working on a lot of things as always, and I'm, I'm just very busy. I'm super stressed out and I want to die, so let's watch a shitty video. I actually came across this video on Facebook originally, and not even a minute in, I knew I wanted to do a response to it. So thanks to the anti-SGW Facebook group, yeah, I know, it's a really fucking creative name, for bringing this to my attention. I know that Facebook sort of perceived as kind of lame now, but if you still use it, you should check out the group, because it's full of cancer all the time. The link can be found in the below. Without further ado, let's dive into this cancerous piece of media. Right, so this is Bozo, Daddy Bong Legs, War Torn Hurts Agova, Frenulum, Dingus, Snatch Squatch, Mr. Jumble Pockets, Marilyn Danson. Yeah, this goes on for like 20 seconds. Boutros Boutros Gali, Hawaiian Pack, Snipper, Clipper, The Rizza, Ugly Jim, Good Profile Jim. Guys, this is Cassie. He's a comedian. Oh, it's not he. I, I'm, a, I'm a woman. Could you please use she and her? Well, how the fuck am I supposed to remember that? Pronouns. Why are they important? Why should you care? Let's find out. Tonight, we answer the age-old question. Hollywood stars and celebrities, what do they know? Do they know things? Let's find out. Seriously, that's the first thing that goes through my head. Are you kidding me? This is the theater where I publicly came out in a live performance to over a hundred people. Wow, a hundred people? That's so many. My name is Cassie, and it is so, so good to finally meet you. It was one of the happiest moments of my life. But after I came out, there were people who still refused to acknowledge my gender. All right, you do have a couple different options. You could politely let them know that it bothers you and why. You know, give them a little bit of insight into your current situation. You could suck it up and deal with it like an adult. Or you could choose not to interact with those people anymore. And continue to call me he because they thought that males have XY chromosomes and females have XX chromosomes. I mean, yeah, in most cases this statement is true. And for some reason it was their job to defend that idea. Because God forbid someone defend something that has scientific backing to prove it. Look, I've taken that argument and put it in an antique shop, because that's what you do with things that are obsolete. That isn't how science and biology works, my dude. And before anyone throws a big ol' hissy fit, dude is a neutral term in most people's vocabulary, and no, I will not be changing it to suit your wishes, so you can fuck off with our shit. And besides, that's not true. There are people with XY chromosomes that are androgen insensitive and appear female. I've literally never heard of this in my life. Apparently it's called androgen insensitive syndrome which affects two to five in every 100,000 biological males. And if you do the math, that comes to a total of less than a hundredth of a percent. That's even less than the estimated transgender population, which according to the source I've listed below, states that it sits at approximately 0.28%. This is an extremely uncommon condition that quite frankly, isn't even worth mentioning. There are people who have intersex conditions. Can, can you repeat that? People who have intersex conditions. Oh, right. Condition, as in, you know, not a new sex or gender, a deformity, an anomaly, whatever you want to call it. And there are people with XXY chromosomes that present as men. Isn't XXY considered intersex still? Look mate, this is all bullshit. I know what a woman is and you're not one. You can't call a cat a dog and make it a dog. It's biology. Men and women aren't different species like cats and dogs are. This isn't really even a comparable argument. Seriously, I've only seen people really use this argument in a joking manner. Unless we're gonna stretch into kin territory, which I'd rather not touch on in this video. 
No, that's semantics. Let me use my half a philosophy degree to pose you a moral question. Trans powers activate. What, you? what the fuck? Seriously, what the fuck? This main character, can this person even act at all? Is this like your first acting gig ever? Because if so, you really need to work on your emoting skills. I've seen more emotion come from Kirsten Stewart. Could you please put at least a little more effort, Clara, or whatever your name is? You're so boring, I've already forgotten. Oh, where are we? This is my friend Shelly's house. Hey, Shelly. Hey, Jess. Uh, let me guess. She's trans too. No, she's adopted. Wait, what? What? Why? Why is that relevant? Shortly after she was born, Shelley's birth mother died and she was adopted by this woman, Lorraine. Lorraine cared for her and looked after her and made sure that she was safe and held her when she cried and took her to school every day. How beautiful! What a great mum! Yeah. Shame you'll have to tell them that their relationship isn't real and they're not actually a family and Shelley isn't her daughter. What the fuck are you on about? They are absolutely a family. Lorraine is her mum. Not biologically though, is she? Wait a second. Are you really trying to compare being transgender to being adopted? No one here is denying that this girl is adopted and isn't the other woman's biological child. And I've got to say, I don't really agree with the idea of parents keeping it a secret from their adoptive child because, well, they're bound to figure it out eventually anyway. However, I've noticed that a lot of supposed trans people, specifically those further on the left, will actively deny biology at all costs in order to protect their feelings. Okay, you're right. On most occasions, biology doesn't matter. But I still think it's wrong to change your body by taking a pill. It's unnatural. It is unnatural, yes. But some people simply don't have that option. Some people break their leg and have to wear a cast. That's not natural, but they do it because it helps. Some people are born with crooked spines and have to wear special equipment in order to fix it. That's not natural, but they do it because it helps. Some people are born with similar brains to that of the opposite sex and have to take pills or shots and get some surgical procedures done in order to feel like a normal human being or, well, as normal as they can. That's not natural, but they do it because it helps. Do you have kids? Yeah. Did you vaccinate them? Look, I just don't like trans people. I know. You've been saying that this whole time. Get ready for a controversial opinion. It is okay for people to not be okay with certain things. It's okay for people to disagree with you on certain subjects. If you can't handle it, don't interact with them anymore. If you can, good for you. You're an adult. And here's where we get down to the nitty gritty. I mean, the underlying issue here is not really about semantics or biology. It's about recognizing the dignity of another human being. Hey, just, just gotta, just gotta say that this guy, this guy's putting, putting some, putting some goddamn effort in. Honestly, you had me fooled at the beginning uh, of the video. You look very feminine, so props to that. Gold stuff, uh, you tried and you actually done the success fad. I mean, we make all kinds of concessions just out of politeness and respect all the time. I mean, I've seen people refer to their boats as women and then refuse to call me a woman. Are you fucking serious? People have been referring to objects of their affection with humanistic qualities for generations. People, and I do mean the general public, have been forced into referring to biological men as women and biological women as men for five, maybe six. But even if you ignore the medical community, there's still no reason to misgender someone. Unless it's an accident, like sometimes a waiter will bring my food and they'll be like, enjoy your meal. And I'll be like, you too. And then I'll file that in my scrapbook of dumb shit that I've said and look at it every night before I go to sleep. We all make mistakes. But if it's someone's crusade to deliberately misgender somebody out of some sense of keeping it real, they're not. In fact, the only reason that you would deliberately misgender somebody is because you're an asshole. Or because their beliefs don't align with yours, 
or because they literally don't give enough of a shit. Why are you hanging around people who misgender you if it bothers you so much? Oh, that's right. The public isn't your safe space. I know you don't identify as an asshole. I know you don't feel like an asshole on the inside, but I'm gonna call you one anyway because I'm keeping it real. Okay, sorry, I'll call you she and her from now on. Thank you, I appreciate that. I know what it's like to be misidentified. One time the cops thought I'd nicked a bike, but it was my mate. I was just holding it for him. So, solidarity. Oh boy. And there we have it. That, that was that. That was it. That was this video. That was a video. I'll leave a link to it in the below, but as always, don't go and rate the comments because that's not cool. Be sure to like and share this video if you enjoyed it, and smash down that subscribe button for more videos. And don't forget to hit the little notification bell while you're at it. I hope you're having a great day or night. Time zones are weird, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace the X out.